you go on Facebook, you you want your uh, information to be objective and fair. You don't want it to be suppressed, is, which is unfortunate now that we know that that happened. It's time to give the people what they want. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg is making some big changes since admitting to bowing to censorship pressure from the Biden administration. Donald Trump responding on True Social in all caps, the 2020 presidential election was rigged. The former president has become so enraged with the admission, he's actually publishing new attacks on Zuckerberg in his new book, saying the social media giant had a plot against the president. And if he cheats this election, he will spend the rest of his life in jail. The tech billionaire wrote in a letter to Congress, his company Facebook was asked by the FBI and senior officials to suppress content related to COVID-19 and the Hunter Biden laptop in 2021. Zuckerberg has since apologized and vowed to push back against censorship in the future. The main thing that I hear from people is that they actually want to see less political content on our services because they come to our services to connect with people. So, you know, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're, we give people control o over this, but we're generally trying to recommend less political content. Um, so I think you're going to see our services play less of a role in this election than they have in the past. Apparently, Zuckerberg is right. A majority of Americans feel big companies have become way too political. You know, nearly 80 percent of the population wants uh, corporations to stay out of politics because they've seen the damage that corporations have done when they've waded into uh, political topics. Daniel Cameron, CEO of 1792 Exchange, who published the survey, said people go to stores and companies for products, not political preaching. The survey also found 62 percent of people feel more CEOs should stop the politics and their company's involvement in cultural issues. Zuckerberg is taking that advice and has also promised not to make any campaign donations or endorse any political candidates. So I think it's important and healthy that um, Mark Zuckerberg has determined that it's probably best for them to just produce a, a good environment and um, for Americans to enjoy pictures of family members and to connect uh, in ways that, you know, they, they can't necessarily do in person as opposed to feeling like they're being preached to. Um, particularly when it comes to forces from the left. Cameron, who is also the former attorney general of Kentucky, now works at the nonprofit watchdog group 1792 Exchange, whose mission is to prevent companies from going woke. CEOs and some of our largest corporations were making a determination that businesses, American businesses, needed to be built on diversity, equity, and inclusion. But now, Cameron says there are many companies who, like Facebook, are making a 180 on their values and moving on from the DEI and social justice warrior era. Tractor Supply announced it is ditching its goals of diversity, equity, and inclusion as part of its aim to refocus on its customers in rural America. Major automaker Ford has backtracked on some of its diversity, equity, and inclusion priorities. In a memo to employees, Ford CEO Jim Farley said the company will be joining other companies and no longer participating in corporate surveys from the LGBT rights group Human Rights Campaign. These companies all joining the ranks of Lowe's and John Deere, who also recently scaled back their DEI initiatives. I think the path forward, is, as we're seeing, uh, is going to be American businesses built on merit, excellence and intelligence. It's an exciting time that, to see our corporations getting back to business and focusing on uh, serving all customers and getting out of uh, the business of politics. I'm Amy DeLora for Washington Examiner.